How to communicate a secret? We have a writer that writes a message. We have a reader, the intended reader, that the writer wants him or her to read the message. And we have the message itself. And we have a bunch of hackers, kibitzers, uh, adversaries who want to pry and find out what the message is. That's the setting. That's what we are dealing with. And the question is, how can the writer, which we usually use the name Alice for, uh, would communicate to the reader, usually called Bob for some reason, the message so that the hackers, the kibitzers, the adversaries will not find out what is written in this message. Well, ideally, we would like to use something that is strictly outside the limits of cryptography, but we will include it here anyway, and that's called steganography. What is steganography? It is means to hide the fact that a message was sent. Obviously, if the hackers don't even know that Alice sent a message to Bob, they would not even try to, uh, to crack it or to read it or to intercept it because they don't know that it was sent. This is the ideal situation. What if we cannot do it? We cannot hide the fact that a message was sent. Then the second best is to use what is technically called a secure channel. Secure channel is uh, any means that have enough security to prevent the hackers, the uh, adversaries from uh, attacking, intercepting, and trying to find out what is written by Alice to Bob. So if you can uh, use armed guards, and hand over an envelope with the message they will carry to Bob, that's a secure channel. Uh, many people consider the U.S. mail a secure channel because it is uh, a federal crime to uh, open somebody else's mail. But, but let's not get into it. Secure channel is something that the writer feels is secure. Now, what happens if there is no secure channel available? And the only way for Alice to send a message to Bob is to resort to the public information highway, to the Internet, or otherwise an insecure channel. Now it's getting more complicated because when the message passes in the insecure, through the insecure channel, then all those hackers and adversaries can intercept it. So what is Alice to do? Well, the only way that she can hide the contents of the message is to use some method to change the form of the message, to change the appearance of the message, and then send this uh, changed message over the insecure channel when it comes to Bob he then uses what we called before a key, the discriminating key, the key that will discriminate him versus all the others, all the unintended readers. And with this key, he will be able to extract the original message, the unencrypted message, and read it. But the hackers, without the key, 
will not be able to. We usually call the plain message before encryption plain text. And after we uh, garble it up and make it incomprehensible, we call it a cipher text. So the plain text with a certain method changed to a cipher text. The ciphertext then is sent over the insecure channel with the expectation that the uh, hackers, the adversaries, as much as they will try to uh, hammer into this ciphertext, they will not be able to extract the plain text from the ciphertext. But Bob, using the key, this piece of data that he has and he keeps secret, he will be able to extract the plain text from the ciphertext. And the uh, science of cryptography is the science of how to build such a method that this will actually work, that the hackers will not be able to read it, what Alice is writing, but Bob will. We can immediately realize something very important. Thieves can steal the key from Bob or uh, outwit him into surrendering the key to them. And if they do that, they can read the message as much as Bob can. And cryptography cannot help because that is outside the realm of cryptography. Cryptography only deals with the discrimination between the key holder and the non-key holder between those that have the key and those who don't have the key. It has nothing to do with protecting the key from theft or from uh, being surrendered unwittingly. That means that if you have a very strong cryptography, cryptography your adversaries will probably try to steal your key. And that happens very often. So, what we are going to focus on the, on, on the next uh, session is this particular situation. Alice has a secret plain text. She wants to change it to a cipher text using some methods, some algorithm send it over insecure channel to Bob. Bob has a key to extract the plaintext from the message. The hackers don't have the key and cannot do it. And the question is, how do we build such a method that this will work?